Hello everyone. In this session, let us discuss about how to know the number of distinct hypotheses and how to know the hypothesis space and semantically distinct hypothesis. Let us get into the concept. So for this, first of all, let us take a simple example. So we are, I'm taking two instances, X1 and X2. So the values of these instances are, for X1, the values are mid1 and mid2. So these are our attributes. And these are the values of the attributes. For X1, I'm taking mid1, mid2, X2, lab1, and lab2. So just for simplicity, I'm indicating mid1 as M1, mid2 as M2, lab1 as L1, lab2 as L2. So now to know the instance space or the number of distinct hypotheses. Okay. So we have already seen how to form a hypothesis given any attribute. So here, if you compare this, so here you have two instances, x1 as well as x2. So now while forming a hypothesis, I can take any value of x1 and I can take any value of x2. So this forms me one hypothesis, right? So like that, totally how many hypotheses are that I can form, okay? So here I have two attributes here and two attributes here. Totally I can form two into two. Totally four distinct hypotheses I can form, okay? So you can see the combination M1, L1, M1, L2, M2, L1, and M2, L2. So here if you see, first I am starting with mid one and I'm combining it with lab one and lab two. Second, I'm taking mid two, and then we are combining it with lab one and lab two, okay? So all of you are very much clear about the binary representation also. If you want, you can just compare it with this. Suppose if the values are zero and one, how many combinations will you get? So two part two, either zero, 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 one, one, zero, one, one. So like this, you get totally four combinations, right? So in a similar way, here also I have two attribute values. Here also I have two attribute values. I'm taking a combination of these two and totally four examples I can form. So that means four distinct hypotheses can be formed. So this is my instance space. So totally four examples I can form. So now coming to the hypothesis space. So we already know given an attribute, what are the possible values that it can take? possible values of an attribute. Either it can take some value like M1, M2. Otherwise, it can take a value 5, indicating that it is an empty one or none. Otherwise, question. So 5 is more specific one. Question mark is the more general value. So taken any attribute, these can be the possible values. Either it can take some value or it can take 5 or it can take question mark, right? So now combining all these combinations, so that means along with M1, M2, I should also take phi and I, I should also take a question mark. Similarly, here also I should take a phi and I should take a question mark. So then taking these into consideration, four fours, totally 16 examples can be formed. So you can see the combinations here, M1 with L1, L2, Phi and question mark. M1 followed by L1, L2, Phi and a question mark. Then M2 with all the four combinations. M2 with L1, L2, Phi and a question mark. Then coming to the next value that is Phi. Phi with all the four combinations. Phi L1, Phi L2, Phi Phi and Phi question mark. Then question mark with the next four attributes. So question mark L1 question mark L2, question mark 5, question mark, question mark. So totally 16 examples can be formed or the hypothesis space contains a total of 16 examples. Then coming to the semantically distinct hypothesis. So in the hypothesis space always gives us the various possibilities. Okay, so out of this, everything is not a consistent one. And we have, we also know the more general than relationship. If I have a more general than relationship, keeping a 
hypothesis which is less general is meaningless okay right and also if you see the instances with one or more phis will classify every instance as negative okay so i i need not work with the negative instances so from the hypothesis space i will be removing all the hypotheses which are having a negative value or the phi value so like that for me we have here you can just have a check so we have m1 phi so you can eliminate this and also i have m2 phi then phi l1 phi l2 phi so phi phi i can do then phi comma question mark and question mark comma phi so here if you see one is empty so that means there will never be a hypothesis where i will be taking only one attribute value and another i will not take so i cannot form a hypothesis only like that right so how do we form a hypothesis so, so here i have two attributes so whenever i am taking a hypothesis i should definitely take one attribute value from x1 and another attribute value from x2 so definitely i should have a tuple of these two but here if i say phi i'm not choosing any value from either x1 or from x2 so that makes a meaningless hypothesis and it is classifying the instance as negative this hypothesis will not satisfy any of the instances so we are just simply removing it so a total of seven instances seven instances or the seven examples have been removed and we are getting 3 into 3 plus 1 a total of 10 so why 3 because in every four you can see there is one instance or one example with the five so this phi i am eliminating okay so from here i'm just eliminating this phi so how many do i have i have only three possible values from here also i'm eliminating five so i have three possible values so three into three and one thing i can add on so that is combination of phi comma phi saying that it is a more specific one so far this is a null hypothesis right so you uh, if you are a mathematical student you know how to construct a power set so given a set of elements you know how to construct a power set in that power set we will also include a null right so in the similar way here we are taking a null hypothesis followed by all semantically distinct hypothesis so like that totally how many do i have three into three plus one so a total of 10 semantically distinct hypothesis i have okay so keeping this example in mind let us apply the same thing to the concept learning example okay so the, the enjoy sport data set this is the enjoy sport right so if you see the attributes are sky air temperature humidity wind water and forecast so if you see sky how many attribute values does it has it has three and rest to all these two all these attributes have two two instances each so how many distinct instances do we have so we have a multiplication of all these three into two into two into two into two okay so various attribute value combinations of all these can be formed like that a total of 96 instances can be formed so now to this so for every attribute value, next what I will do, either I will be adding a phi and a question mark. So what will happen? So in every attribute value set, two values are getting added. So this three will become five. This two is becoming four. This two is becoming four. The next two is four, four. So like that, three plus two. Three plus two, a total of five values. And two plus two, a total of for attribute values we will get. So I will be getting these many distinct hypotheses. So out of this we have seen if any hypothesis is containing a single null value. So that means taking one value and we are just ignoring the other attribute value. So that makes us a meaningless hypothesis. So we are eliminating all that combinations. So that means whichever hypothesis is containing one value and one phi that we are eliminating. So like that, if you eliminate this phi, so phi minus one, a total of four, 
and 4 minus 1, a total of 3. So, 4 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. Okay. And we are also considering the null hypothesis that is pi comma pi. So, this plus 1 is added. A total of 973 semantically distinct hypothesis can be formed. So, given any data set and its attributes with values like this, you can know. You can just identify how many distinct instances you will be having, how many syntactically distinct hypotheses you will be getting, and how many semantically distinct hypotheses you will be getting. Okay. So, these insta distinct instances can also be called as the hypothesis space. These are the possible this is space so hope you followed if you have any queries please let me know in the comment section thank you